Hey guys, this is uh, Burger Time from XDA or Roman. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Trigger from start to finish. Uh, I'm going to start at the very beginning and show you the easiest way to install Trigger from uh, stock. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to put the Trigger zip on your internal SD card along with the update.zip for Clockwork Recovery. I will have links to both of those so you guys can uh, download those. So once you have those, uh, we can proceed to Odin back to stock. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with this, I highly suggest you do get familiar. Um, it's extremely important that you do. Uh, it can help you out of almost any brick. So what we want to do first is select the PIT file and the 512 PIT uh, is the standard one that we that everybody uses for the vibrance. Uh, next, we want to select the PDA. This contains the modem, the kernel, and the actual ROM itself. Uh, JFD is the one that you usually want to go back to. Um, if you'll notice here, repartition is checked. Uh, some people have had trouble with it, but I'm using Odin 1.7 and I haven't had any trouble with it and uh, I usually recommend using repartition because uh, it'll clear things out, it'll repartition your uh, your system you know your internal SD minus the part where you have your data if that makes any sense um, I'm gonna get my phone into download mode if you guys don't know how to get into download mode I highly suggest it uh, make sure your phone is able to do it with the two button mode. Um, I'm only using one hand so I can't really hold the two volume rockers but I'm just going to use quick boot. Okay, phone's going to get into download mode and now uh, my PC is just installing its drivers I haven't used download mode, I haven't used it in a while. Let's see. There it goes. And there we go. Uh, that means once you see a COM port, that means your phone has recognized, your computer has recognized Odin, and you're ready to go. Uh, just click start. And here you will see what's going on. Uh, it's kind of blurry here, but uh, it's flashing the modem bin right now. You can see what it's doing up there. There, it's flashing the ROM, and I'll show you guys what's going on with the phone. That's what that looks like. So just let it go through. Um, if you have any problems, you know you can try and start over. One thing you do not want to do is do not unplug anything. If you're doing it on a laptop, make sure you have it to full charge or you're on AC power. Um, it's very, very bad to unplug it right now. Um, that could poten uh, potentially cause you a permanent break. So I'll start this back when it's over. Alright, it's getting close to being done. Um, now what I had you guys do was to have the zip already on your SD card as well as the clockwork recovery update.zip this will allow you to make everything so much faster because for going from 2.1 you can fly straight to clockwork recovery and you don't have to go to 2.2 you don't have to mess with 3e recovery you can just flash a different rom all right uh, there it reset and it passed and now my phone's rebooting It's out of focus. Alright, so it's just going to restart and it's going to boot into 2.1 JFD stock firmware. And that's going to take a while. So um, I'll, I'll play it again once it's done. While it's booting up, I want to mention one thing. Um, don't touch anything on Odin that's not automatically checked for you. Um, you want to leave those two unchecked or it could cause some bad things. Um, 
the F reset time and the auto reboot, they're automatically checked and the repartition, um, like I said, that's up to you. I usually do it to get a clean start and clean anything out that might have been left from past ROMs that cause problems. And, uh, okay, so my phone's just now booted up. And honestly, you don't really have to wait for it to finish doing anything. Um, let me see if I can reset it with one hand. We want to go into recovery. So I just hold the power button and the two volume buttons. And you hold the power button until you see the Vibrant logo. And let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I have my clockwork mod update.zip on my SD card and that allows me to just go to the re enter recovery and reinstall packages. It's the second option. Just hit enter and it's going to flash that and it's going to reboot right back into that recovery. And we just do it again. And this is when Clockwork Mod will start. Uh, let me pause this so it'll refocus. Yeah, I don't think it worked. Okay, so um, you want to scroll down to install zip from SD card. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's where I'm at. Um, then you click choose zip from SD card. Um, there we go, it's a little bit clearer. And pick the ROM you want to choose. Um, I'm going to flash beta version of Trigger I have. That's 2.8.1 select that then go up to yes and that's it it'll start flashing some of the cool things you can do with the new edify scripts I've been messing with so when you click repartition if your phone was running voodoo before it will not be so it's gonna take a little while to format and to copy all the files um, because you're running RFS and not EXT4. So if you're on Voodoo and uh, you kind of skip the Odin part, this will go a lot faster for you. It's still going. There we go. Alright, and that's it. Uh, you can now hit go back, and you can reboot. Uh, if you guys want to turn Keep Voodoo off, here's what I would suggest. Uh, go to Advanced, and then you want to do Reboot Recovery. It's the first option. Voodoo is enabled by default with Trigger, so those of you guys who want it off, uh, just follow the steps. It's really easy. Alright, we've got red recovery, that means it's the voodoo recovery. Um, to disable it, before it even boots up, you want to scroll down and click voodoo lag fix. And then from here, you can just click disable or enabled, it's the second option. I like voodoo, so I'm going to enable it, and uh, we're going to reboot the system. And this first boot will take a little while, 